Okay, so hello everybody. Um, my name is Sarah and I am from the Marketing and Events Department at WellU and welcome to the session with GP Slow Flow Yoga. Now, for those of you who don't know that what WellU is and what we are all about, we are a holistic and science program for overall well-being. And what we mean by this is physical, mental, and social. So we believe that well-being is not just about excelling in one area, but in all areas of your life and having a balance across all of these areas. We do have a program and an app, but apart from this, we also host these events, which we did start in December and we thought we would only do it for a couple of months. And now we're just continued to do them because they're so fun. And we've also just enjoyed collaborating with people like Jihi. And so we have continued them. Um, we host events like these across all different areas. Uh, we have fitness, nutrition, psychology, and yoga like this one. Um, they are all free and if you guys are always welcome to join any of them. So you can actually find them under our Eventbrite link. I will be dropping now a few links into the chat and you can feel free to take a look. So um, you can see here the link to our Eventbrite, Eventbrite page. We also have a private Facebook community where we can keep closer in contact and have a discussion and share some well-being contact. Um, some content. Um, we'd also love to hear what kind of events you would like us to host on. We can always, we are open for any other suggestions. And now we have then our link to our Instagram page and of course to GP's page um, where you can find out more about her and her work and her practice. So without further ado, I will now be handing it over to GP and we really hope that you enjoy this session with her. So enjoy and have fun. Hey, welcome everyone. And thank you, Sarah, for your help. Hey, my name is Jihi Choi and I'm from South Korea, but I live in now. So welcome to my slow flow. Uh, we, don't have, we don't need any props for today's practice, but if you're feeling tired during your flow, you can always dive into this beautiful pose. One of my favorite pose, just drop your forehead, relax your shoulders and your arms. Maybe bring your arms beside your body. It's you. So whenever you feel tired during practice, then just listen to your body and find your own resting pose. Great. So when you're ready, we're going to meet at the comfortable seated postures. If you feel in a comfortable position, then you can just bring your Maybe extend your legs to the side, it's to you. But make sure that you have to sit in tall. Relax your shoulders. And maybe smile on your face. And when you're ready, just gently close your eyes. So before starting the session, just bring your awareness to your body. And keep breathing. You can feel free to breathe in and out through the nose. Maybe if you feel here with high breath, the ocean breath, then you can feel free to breathe out through the mouth. Just feel your breathing and your skin bones. We're gonna stay here, find more breath. Just relax your shoulders. Just keep the awareness towards your body and your breathing again. Let's stay here, a couple of breaths. In your next inhalation, gently blink your eyes to open. So when you're ready, this time, breathe in, circling your arms up to the sky. And breathe out. Bring your left hand on your right knee. Drop your right hand behind your back. Inhale, keep lengthening. Exhale, gently turn your chin. 
engage somewhere behind your back. Keep breathing in and out through the nose, maybe throughout the mouth. And stay here a couple of breaths. And your next inhalation, gently coming back to the center. And again, circling your arms up, inhale. Exhale, twist to the left. Again, keep lengthening your spine, inhale. Exhale, gauge somewhere behind your back. And make sure that your sitting bones are grounding. And keep breathing. Stay here, couple of breaths. And feel your sitting bones in your low back. Gently coming back to the center, inhale. Great. So in your next inhalation, yeah, just roll your shoulders back. Just keep breathing in and out through the nose. Keep breathing. Slowly coming back to the center, inhale and second side. Roll your shoulders again. Gently coming back to the center, inhale. And this time, just drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Keep relax your shoulders. Keep breathing. In your next inhalation, coming back to the center. Exhale to the left. Coming back to the center, inhale and exhale, repeat it to the right side. Inhale, coming back to the center, exhale to the left. Gently. Coming back to the center, inhale. From here, we're going to meet at the old force tabletop. So drop your hands on the ground, your knees on the ground. So check your pose. Make sure that your hands are underneath your shoulder, your knees are underneath your hips. So when you're ready, inhale, drop your belly, look up to the sky. And exhale, round your spine, gauge your navel. Just follow your breathing rhythm. Breathe in, look up. And breathe out, gauge your navel. And repeat it three more rounds with your cat cow. So whenever done with your three rounds, then we're going to meet the old tabletop pose again. So from here, curl your toes under, bring your hips back, slowly coming to your downward facing dog. Lengthen your spine, just check your down dog. Make sure that your feet are hips width apart, your shoulders away from your ears. If you're feeling tired on your hamstring, then you can micro bend your knees, but keep lengthening your spine. 
and it might be very first time down dog in your day. You can gently walk your dog, maybe shake your head yes or no. But keep breathing. And then check your down dog, whether you're stable or not. Stay here, couple of breaths with your beautiful down dog. And slowly stop your movement. And from here, bend your knees between your hands. Slowly step or jump between your hands. And inhale, hands on your shin, lengthen your spine, halfway lift. Exhale, fully forward back. And inhale, rise all the way up, bring your arms up to the sky. Keep lengthening your spine. Exhale, hands on your heart center, Samasthiti. So we're going to move into sun solutions. Take a step, top of your mat. And check your mountain pose, whether you're stable or not. Anchor your feet, don't wiggle back and forth. Find your neutral mountain pose. So when you're ready, circling your arms up, inhale, keep lengthening your spine. Exhale, fully forward bend. Inhale, lengthen your spine, half lift. Exhale, drop your hands, take the steps to your plank, engage your core here. But if you're feeling tired, you can always drop your knees down. So this is your practice, you decide your own practice today. Stay here, couple of breaths, keep engage your core and keep breathing. And from here, drop your knees down, your elbows in, and gently drop your belly on the ground. Inhale, lift up your chest, cobra pose. Exhale, slowly curl your toes under, lift up yourself, all fours, and then downward facing dog. Keep lengthen your spine, but don't hold your breath. You can always micro bend your knees. But keep breathing. So when you're ready, again, bend your knees. Look between your hands. Step or jump between your hands. Inhale, hands on your shin. Halfway lift. Exhale, fully forward bend. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, on your heart center. And repeat it one more round again. So inhale, circle your arms up, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, lengthen your spine, half lift. Exhale, take a step, step back to the plank and through your own vinyasa. You can always drop your knees down, elbows in, and gently drop your belly. Inhale, cobra, and exhale, your toes under. We're going to meet a downward facing dog. Stay here, couple of breaths with your down dog. And from here, bend your knees, look between your hands. Step or jump between your hands. And inhale, lengthen your spine, half lift. Exhale, this might bend your, you can grab your opposite elbows like that. And just hang it. Relax your neck and your shoulders. Just, you can stay here. But if you wish, you can move your body side to side. Daily. Relax your neck and your shoulders. Just hanging here. So keep breathing.
And you're next, you know, you're just slowly coming back to the center. Release your hands. Bring your hands on your shin. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward bend. And right all the way up. Exhale, hands on your heart center. So from here, we're gonna move into the chair pose. So I'm chair pose, so I'm gonna show you two options. You can bring your feet together, but personally, I prefer this one. Spread your feet hips with distance. This one is easier than this one. So make sure that you have to anchor your feet. Draw your knees down, but keep in your spine. Don't be back and forth. Gently draw your knees down. Scoop your arms up. Keep lengthen your spine. Engage your core in your buttocks. If you're feeling tired on your shoulders, always make a prayer pose. And we're gonna hold this beautiful chair pose. And four more breaths here, but keep breathing. And exhale, gently drop your hands down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take a step back to the plank and through your vinyasa. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. And catch up your breath here with your beautiful down dog. And feel your hands and your feet. And check yourself whether you're stable or not. So in your next inhalation, just your, bring your both feet together. Your big toes are touching together. In your your down dog. And when you're ready, in it, bring your right leg up to the sky. Your toes are pointing down. Exhale, gently bring your knee towards your chest. And we're going to hold it here. In it, bring it up, three legged dog. Your toes are pointing. Pointing down. And exhale. Take a big step next to your right thumb. If you can, you can just grab your ankle, bring it here, it's fine. Inhale, use your finger to lift up your chest halfway. Yeah, lift up your chest, lengthen your spine. Exhale, bring your feet together. And in it, drop your knees down, scoop your arms up, chair pose. Keep engage your core and your feet. If you feel comfortable, always make a prayer pose. You can bring your feet hips width apart, but keep breathing. So stay here, couple of breaths with your beautiful chair pose. And exhale, drop your hands down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take a step back to the plank through your vinyasa. Keep breathing. Exhale, we're gonna meet a downward facing dog again. So just catch up your breath here. And when you're ready, again, bring your feet together. Your big toes are touching together. In it, bring your left leg up to the sky. Your toes are pointing down. Exhale, knee to the nose. Engage your core. In it, bring your left leg up again. Exhale. Take a big step next to your left thumb. And use your fingertip, lengthen your spine, inhale. 
to bring your feet together. Inhale, drop your knees down, scoop your arms up, chair. Stay here, four more breaths. Exhale, drop your hands down. And you know what's going on. Take a step back, plank through your vinyasa. In a cobra, this time, exhale, come into your child's pose. Bring your hips towards your heels. Drop your forehead, relax your shoulders, and just melt down on the ground. Keep breathing. So you're gonna hold this beautiful child's pose for five more breaths. If you need to take some break, always remember this beautiful child's pose. And keep breathing. And there are no tensions on your shoulders and your neck. And stay here, couple of breaths. In your next simulation, use your hands, lift up your chest and curl your toes under. We're gonna meet a downward facing dog. Again. Just catch up your breath with your beautiful down dog. So in your next inhalation, again, bring your both feet together. Your big toes are touching together. In it, bring your right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog, your toes pointing down. Exhale, gently tap to the right elbow. Engage your core. In it, bring it back. Bring your right up to the sky. Exhale, take a big step next to your right thumb. Turn your back toe, drop your heel down. And Scare your hips. You can place your hands on your waist at first. Anchor your knee. Lift up yourself, warrior one. If you're feeling this is too much, you can micro step. Adjust your step. Turn your hips. Scare your hips. Keep bend your front leg and bring your arms up. Remember, keep lengthen your spine. There are no tension on your neck and your shoulders. Keep breathing. So you can stay here with your warrior one pose. If you want, you can grab your opposite elbows like that, or maybe interlace your fingers. Or maybe you can bring your hands together like that. So from your warrior, we're gonna meet a humble warrior. Keep bend your front leg. Inhale, open up your chest, look up to the sky. Exhale, gently forward bend. So you can stay here. Or maybe you can drop your chest on your right thigh. Bring your arms up. And just drop your neck. Keep breathing. And check your feet, whether it's stable or not. Keep breathing again. From here, engage your thigh and your feet and to lift up yourself and release your arms. Bring your arms up, inhale. Exhale, drop your hands down, turn your back toe, drag your leg, come into your plank. You can always drop your knees down. 
if you know Chaturanga, then you can go to full Chaturanga to you. Exhale, downward facing dog. Catch up your breath in your down dog. But again, this is your practice. If you're feeling tired, just take some child's pose. So when you're ready, again, bring your feet together. Inhale, bring your left up. Your toes are pointing down. Exit, tap to the left elbow, engage your core. Inhale, bring your left leg up. Exhale, take a big step next to your left thumb. And again, pivoting your back to draw your heel down. You can place your hands on your waist, square your hips, lift up your chest, flex your shoulders, coming to your warrior one. So we're gonna do second side. You can always grab your way, hands, yeah, elbow, it's on you. And inhale, look up to the sky. Exhale, gently drop your chest down. And relax your neck and your shoulders. Keep breathing. And feel your shoulders and your neck. So when you're ready, engage your feet and lift up yourself. Release your grip. Bring your arms up, inhale. Again, exhale, drop your hands down. Turn your back to coming to your plank and through your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Catch up your breath here. This time, bend your knees. Look between your hands. Step or jump between your hands. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Half a lift. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hand on your heart center. Samasthi. So even not, I'm not going to mention during your practice, if you need, take some break or grab some water during your practice. From here, we're going to move into the bench and I'm going to guide you water flow again. You can place your hands on your waist or make a prayer pose, or maybe you can bring your arms up. It's up to you. So first of all, I'm going to bring my hands on my waist. And shift your weight to the left foot. And when you're ready, slowly lift up your right knee. Engage your right toe. Flex your shoulder. Maybe sit on your face. Yeah, I don't know whether, yeah, I don't know. Here in Holland, it's super humid. Yeah, humid. I can say humid and super warm. I I might just sweat a lot during this practice. So if you need water, please grab it. Keep hydrate yourself. But keep breathing. So we're gonna hold it here for more breath. Engage your core. And your standing leg is strong enough. From here, gently take a big step with your right foot. Keep bend your front leg. If you're feeling tired, you can micro bend your back knee, it's fine. And scoop your arms up, make a beautiful crescent lunge. And anchor your feet, don't wiggle it. Find your balance here. Stay here, a couple of breaths with your beautiful lunge pose.
From here, bring your hands back on your waist. Shift your weight to the front leg. Gently bring your right knee up. Engage your right toe. Exhale, bring it back. Come into your mouth city. So shake your leg side to side. And we're gonna switch the side. So shift your weight to the right foot. Bring your hands on your waist. Lift up your left leg. Engage your left toe. Yes. So keep breathing. And if you wish, you can make a prayer pose, bring your arms up, it's up to you. So when you're ready, take a big step. Keep bend your right knee. Bring your arms up, keep lengthening your spine. Make a beautiful lunge pose. But keep breathing. So when you're ready, bring your hands back on your waist. Shift your weight to the in your left leg up. Find your balance. Exhale, release. Just shake your leg side to side. For the next balance pose, is, so shift your weight to the left foot again. But make sure that you have tried to open up your hips like that like four shape so bring your both feet on the ground maybe or maybe you can place your on your or maybe on your thigh you can place your hands on your waist find your balance maybe if you wish you can make a prayer pose bring your arms up like that make a beautiful four shape even you can using the wall. Find your balance. This is your practice. Keep breathing. Stay four more breath with your retreat pose. Slowly drop your both feet down. Take your left side to side. We're gonna switch the side. Shift your weight to the right. You can bring your both feet on the ground or on your calf or on your thigh. You can place your hands on your waist or on your heart center. To find your own beautiful tree pose. Maybe smile on your face. Again, you can always use all if you need any support. Stay here for more breath with your beautiful trade pose. From here, gently drop your feet down and shake your leg side to side. So, from your mountain pose, take a big step with your right foot and keep it in your toes. So, drop your right heel. And then this time, spread your arms to the side. We're gonna meet at warrior two pose. You can adjust the distance if you need. Make sure that your right, mm -hmm. right toe is like a 45 degree angle inward. Relax your shoulders. Check your shoulders. Don't bring it here, parallel on the ground. So relax your shoulders, anchor your feet. Keep breathing. So when you're ready, shift your weight to the front, flip your left hand, 
Then to bring a royal knitted bird warrior. Feel your left side of your rib cage keep lengthening. Keep bend your front leg. So stay here with your warrior pose. I saw someone chat. Stay here, couple of breaths with your beautiful warrior to reverse warrior pose. And from here, gently coming back to your warrior two pose. And this time, draw your elbow, left elbow on your left thigh, your right arm pointing up, 12 o'clock. Don't bring your chest down, keep lengthening your spine. And keep breathing. Stay here for breath with your side angle pose. And gently coming back to your warrior two. This time, turn your left toes, same as your right. And your big toes are slightly in. You can place your hands on your weight. Inhale, look up to the sky, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward bend. You might be stay here, but if you, if you want, you can go deeper. If you're feeling tired on your hamstring, just micro bend your knees, it's fine. This is your practice. You decide whatever you want. There is no fault, no right on your own yoga journey. Stay here, couple of breaths. And in your next inhalation, anchor your feet, engage your core, gently bring it up. And we're gonna meet. The standing pose again. Turn your left to same as before. Bend your knee. We're gonna meet at warrior two pose. Shift your weight to the front. Flip your hand. Bring it up. Reverse. Peaceful warrior. And exit. Drop your both hands down. Turn your back toe. Drag your leg coming to your plank. Through your vinyasa, your chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Catch up your breath in your down dog. So when you're ready, bend your knees. Look between your hands. Step or jump between your hands. Inhale, half lift. Exit forward. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exit, hands on your heart center, Samastiti. So take a step to the top of your mat. We're gonna repeat it second side. So take a big step with your left foot. Keep bend your right knee, turn your back toe. So drop your left heel on the ground. Spread your arms, coming to your warrior two pose. Relax your shoulders and anchor your feet. And stay here a couple of breaths with your beautiful down dog. I have a special guest for you guys today. His name is Minky. So from here, when you're ready, shift your weight to the front. Leave your hands. Bring it up, reverse. Feel the right side of your rib cage. Keep bend your front leg. Keep lengthen your spine in your peaceful reverse warrior. Gently coming back to your warrior two pose and bring your elbow on your thigh, your left arm pointing up 12 o'clock. 
lengthen your spine and keep breathing. Stay here, couple of breath with your side angle pose. From your gently coming back to your warrior two pose, turn your to stage your left, your big toes are in. You can just take a step smaller, it's fine. This time you can grab your opposite elbows, maybe interlace your fingers. Anchor your feet. Inhale, look up to the sky, open up the chest. Exhale, forward. Relax your neck and your shoulders. Again, you can micro your knees if you want. Just feel your shoulder blades and your neck. And keep breathing here. And this time, gently release your hands, drop your hands down on the ground. Inhale, lengthen your spine, high lift. Exhale, four bend. Inhale, bring your left hand to the ground, right up, up to the sky, twist. Keep breathing here. And exhale, drop your hands down. We're gonna switch the side. Your left hand up to the sky. Exhale, draw your hands down. Hit it one more time. Inhale to the right. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale to the left. Exhale, drop it down. Great. So from your hands to your waist, anchor your feet. Use your core. Lift up yourself. On your right toe, bend your knee. We're gonna meet at warrior to same side. Flip your right and bring it up, ribs. Exhale, drop your hands down. Turn your back to to your own vinyasa here. Inhale, cobra. Exhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Keep lengthening your spine. And catch up your breath in your beautiful down dog. In your down dog, micro benches. Look between your hands. Step or jump between your hands. Inhale, half. Can you hear me now? Yep, now we can hear you again. Yes. Oh, sorry, something went wrong. So I don't know where. <laughs> don't worry. Oh, it was just the yeah. last minute we, we missed you when you were when you were down here. Uh, oh, maybe. Yes, exactly. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I'm oh, sorry for interrupting you. Maybe we're going to start into balance again. <laughs> From your setting post, your heels in. Mm -hmm. But make sure that your feet are. Other than your feet apart, and slowly sink down. You can stay here, but if you want, you can bring your elbows in. Keep lengthening your spine. In case if you have a block, you can even sit on your block. If you don't have a block, then drop your hands down. Lift up your heels. So find your own malasana pose. I'm not going to hold it pretty longer. Uh, Stay here only for four more breaths. Keep breathing.
In your next inhalation, slowly release your pose, draw your hips on the ground, bring your both feet in front of your mat, like that. Bring your hands behind your back and draw your knees side to side, windshield wiper. Keep breathing. And gently coming back to the center. From here, we're gonna move into the cool down. So bring your soles of your feet together. We're in a butterfly pose. So if you feel struggling, draw your knees down. It's okay, you can stay here. But relax your shoulders. Your sitting bones are on your mat. Just feel your inner thigh and your hip area here. Keep breathing. If you want to add some movement, just go for it. You can place your hands on the ground, maybe on your elbows. And drop your forehead, press your neck. But this is your practice, so you decide whatever you want. You keep breathing here. You bring your awareness into your physical body. Maybe on your hip area, your inner thigh, or maybe on your lower back. Keep breathing here. We're going to stay here for more breath. With your beautiful butterfly pose. So, in your next simulation, gently release your toes, bring your both feet on the ground, draw your hands behind your back, move your knees side to side, into your white curve. So when you're ready, gently coming back to the center, and we're going to slowly lie down on your back. And when you're ready, bring your knees towards your chest, give your a big hug, and move your body side to side. And feel your lower back, maybe on your shoulder blades. Keep breathing here. And slowly coming back to the center, draw your both feet down. From here, slowly bring your right leg up, your right ankle on your left upper thigh, like a four shape here. You can stay here if you want. Slowly bring your left leg up and bring your left thigh towards your chest. Your shoulders are grounding. If you can close your eyes, just feel your inner thigh and your lower back. Mm -hmm. Is it okay now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what it happens, but sorry for interrupting you guys, but thank you for understanding though. Okay, so. So when you're ready, let us stay here in your pigeon pose, couple of breath. And then in your next inhalation, release your hands, drop your left foot to the ground. You bring your right leg, cross it over to the left. 
spread your arms to the side, relax your shoulders. And then draw your elbows to the left side of your mat. You can look up to the sky or maybe turn your chin to the right. Feel your twist in your lower back. Make sure that your shoulders are grounding. And stay connected on the earth. So keep breathing here. Slowly coming back to the center, inhale, release your legs and draw your knees side to side again. And coming back to the center, inhale, we're gonna switch the side. So bring your left ankle on your right thigh. You can stay here or give yourself a hug. So make sure that your shoulders and neck is relaxed. If you wish, you can close your eyes. Keep breathing here. Just melt down on the ground and surrender. Feel your inner thigh and your hips. Maybe your lower back or maybe your upper back. It might be the same as left and right, but it's okay. Just bring your awareness towards your body. Just relax. Stay here a couple of breaths before we out of this pose. So in your next inhalation, first of all, release your hands, drop your right foot on the ground. Your left leg, cross it over to the right. Draw your both knee to the right side of your mat. Spread your arms to the ground like a T-shape. Relax your shoulders. Again, you can look up to the sky or turn your chin, engage your left hand. Stay there, just relaxed. This really twist is really stress before you're out of your bed during the morning time. I love these stretches because of my lower back issue. So just feel it. But in case if you feel this is not your pose, you can always out of your pose. Don't forget to breathe and just surrender. Stay here, a couple of breaths in your twist. In your next inhalation, gently bring it back to the center. Release your legs. 
And again, drop your knees side to side. Slowly bring it back to the center, inhale. And we're gonna move into the last exercise, last pose, Shavasana. Spread your legs wider, just open up your hands up to the sky. Just relax your shoulders, close your eyes. End of practice today. And we're gonna hold this beautiful Shavasana for five more deep breaths. And gently bring your awareness towards your body again. You're breathing. Gently wiggle your toes and your fingers. You might be move your chin side to side. Just gently wake up yourself. So when you're ready, turn your body to the side like this way. And when you're ready, use your hands to lift up yourself, coming to your comfortable seated posture. And whenever you're ready, inhale, circling your arms up, up to the sky, lengthen your spine. Exhale, drop your hands on your heart center. And bow your head towards your heart. And thank you for sharing your beautiful energy today. And thank you for understanding these technical issues too. I hope to see you again. Enjoy your rest of the day. And namaste. Thank you, Sarah.
Great. Thank you, Gigi. Um, now, lovely. <laughs> Sorry for the introduction too, but yeah, I never it never happens for during our technical call. But thank you for your understand to all yogis too and Sarah. It happens. It happens. We understand. So that's great, and I hope everyone is feeling as calm and having good energy right now. And body and minds are feeling nice and calm. So I would really like to thank G for her time and for giving us. Uh, her lovely practice and sharing that with us today. Um, once again, I would like to share with you guys the links that I sent earlier in the chat um, where you can find us on Eventbrite and our social medias. And once again, please do, um, I recommend you that you discover Jihee on her Instagram and hopefully we can see you again at one of our well-being events. I wish you all a lovely day, evening, wherever you are in the world and we hope to see you very soon. So goodbye, everyone. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Sarah, you too.